What's up guys, I'm Illegal Mist, and we are back with another Day in the Life video. Yesterday was a heartbreaking defeat with the fact that Seer came in the shop and we were unable to get her. I ran my Iron Twins last night and I did the 150 uh, gems like refill or whatever it's called so that I could use more keys. I'm up to 92 now, so I am like less than a week away from being able to get her if she pops back up. I don't have enough for any of that, but I have 25 for the tier one soul stone, whatever they're called, essence. I can never remember their names. But luckily we're kind of, we already have five mortal soul stones, which is good. I managed to eke out the artifact enhancement. I was actually pretty surprised I kind of went overboard on it too. I ran a bunch of spider yesterday. That was kind of my primary focus. So I was able to do a good bit with that. I pulled the 46 void shards. So I was at like 176 yesterday. Uh, I'm going to make a video. I'm going to pull a few more of my ancients. I, I want to be able to get the get up to 200 if i need to so i'm only gonna pull until i reach this lego book here and it's 500 points so in theory it should be pretty quick i mean i could probably honestly too i could probably just do lady eresh if i get pretty unlucky with some shards so i'm gonna kind of consider that possibility i know my wife wants to pull shards though so we'll do that um i did as a little sneak peek i did get a couple new champions so i was pretty stoked about that and i'm definitely gonna build and book one of them during the next cvc for gold tag we're chilling like kind of halfway down the red bar I'm hoping I can find enough teams where I can just get back up to the the neutral zone, but I'm not super fussed about it if I do uh, drop to gold two. I typically stay in gold two. It would be nice to be in gold three for CVC, but I feel like I'm in a good enough spot where it doesn't matter too much. Hopefully we get some void shards today. Kind of, uh, like I said before, it's the biggest thing for my account really are voids although i did see the fire knight 10 hard team uh, if you guys haven't seen that definitely google it um, i'm not sure what country the person is from but they managed to use a full auto team a bunch of ancients today okay well Good amount of ancients which i guess is uh kind of a win but they managed to use a full auto team with Cardiel, who i have cold heart who i have uh tomb lord who i don't have valkyrie who i don't have and then the fifth one who was it um give me one sec Who was it? Oh, and Helicath. Yeah, so that team, I think I could build it if I just pull Tomb Lord and... Well, I have the champs to build it. I don't think I could actually build it. Uh, his speeds were insane. He was up to like 310 or 320 on two of the champions and stuff. So, yeah, we, uh, we're doing good on Doom Tower. How many more days until oh two weeks uh in a day till it resets so i have plenty of time to finish this off i'm gonna farm up dark fey on stage 80 right now just because again my my team well now that rsl helper is back up i might just throw this team in and kind of run it like this i was struggling a little bit with the team just because it wasn't super consistent but hopefully that'll work now uh with RSL Helper just like running it over and over again. For Faction Wars, 
I gotta bust that out. I haven't done much of my dailies and stuff. But we're kind of primed for some... A good day of just farming. I think... I am gonna go for the fusion. Because... I want to be able to put out some content about her. If she does become relevant. Say hi, Cal. Um, and I think I think her ability where she ignores ally protection and all that sort of stuff is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do it. I probably wouldn't recommend you guys do just because it's definitely a more intensive one. But if I'm going to do this whole content creation stuff, I should probably get accessible champions so that I can make teams with them and all that stuff. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll probably gem up to here or like a decent bit of the way at least. And then the champ training, I'm not too worried about. It's actually not too difficult. Three days to get that much. Classic Arena takes five minutes. So that's probably what we're going to work on today. And then I'm going to lunch in, or brunch in a few. It's like, we live like in way northern New Hampshire where there's like nothing around. So we got to drive like an hour just to go meet some friends, to grab some brunch with them and hang out with them. The cat is just sitting right, right here. Being super cute. And embarrassingly enough, my spider team, I'm still running on Spider 25 using Sissia and Ultimate Death, Death Knight as a duo. And the team is 100% consistent, and I'm also able to farm three food champs with them. So that's kind of why I've been doing it over running a team for Spider Stage 10. I would recommend if you have a team for it, do it, but I don't want to build a team with hex involved because of whatever the bug is i'm not totally keyed keyed in on the bug though so i'm not sure if it's like because i'm using hex the it's like bugged or if it's double hitters that are bugged with hex or what it is so once they kind of like figure out the hex stuff then i'm gonna build a team and whatever but i've seen a couple teams that have like double royal guard kaimar lydia and like either Arbiter or Duchess or someone like that. And I have those champions. I haven't built up a second Royal Guard. Um, but my speeds are just like a little weird. So I can nuke the first wave. But then my Arbiter and like Kaimar go before the boss again sometimes. And uh, it ends up being something where like... There's too many minions out. They end up killing one of my champs. It's not 100%. So. so yeah. And we'll run one more. And then see where we are. I feel like the arena ones are kind of a gimme. As long as you're playing and paying attention to when they start. seven arena battles and I've already got the first reward it would be nice to get some fragments from one of these events that's typically what I do like I'll find one thing that I'm a little bit ahead on and I'll grab that definitely not going to be these ones though I am sitting Kind of far out. Yeah, a bunch of people got the second Lego book. So, oh, I um, I meant to show it, but in my platinum chest that I got yesterday from the this thing, I actually got a Lego book out of it. So that was super sweet. I don't think I'll have time to edit it into the video, but yeah. So I got another Lego book from that. So I'm actually like pumping out the Lego books recently, and. I'm very conflicted on who I want to use it on. Like, 
Tyrant would be super good for Ice Golem, but I might be able to build a team with Geo, so I'm not super concerned about that. Like, I have so many champs, like Martyr and Oella, I really, really want to book them out because they're already built and they have masteries. And, uh, yeah, some other champs that, you know, may or may not pull today and yesterday or whatever, but, yeah, so, that'll be it for today. Callie's just still laying here, just hanging out with me. Um, like I said, I'm just going to be focusing on finishing my advanced quests and pumping out some stuff for Spider. So you'll see my gems kind of drop over the next couple days. And then embarrassingly enough, I don't know if I got the gems yet, but my gem count seems higher than I was expecting. Um, I ended up winning a contest that YST put up. So I got like 540 gems from him. So huge shout out to him. Uh, I love his content. I love watching his videos because he like actually makes unique teams that, you know, most people don't think about. So definitely go watch him uh, i mean if you're watching my videos you've probably seen his so yeah that's gonna do it for us today i am going to do my clan boss and then i'm gonna leave so i will catch you guys in the next one peace